What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So I know we're getting really, really close to Server Slam and towards the end of season 29, but my community as well as people out on YouTube have really asked for a lot of pushing content and that's all that we have been doing. So I wanted to bring you my ZDH um, build for groups inside of pushing for higher grader rifts. So we're gonna go over everything that you need to play the build, how to play the build, and then we're gonna showcase a GR150 for you guys just to kind of show you how powerful a ZDH is. So for those who don't know, ZDH is playing a DH and the Z means zero damage because the support characters, you're not gonna be doing the damage. You're gonna have DPS characters like the wizard or like a Blood Necro, something like that is gonna do all your damage. The ZDH is a full support build. We are gonna be applying buffs and debuffs. We're gonna buff our teammates and we're gonna debuff the enemy, okay? That is our sole purpose and we're gonna be protecting our, our teammates from dying, right? We're gonna give them shields. We're gonna, we're gonna have marked deaths on some people. So the ZDH is all about support, buffing and debuffing, okay? So let's get into everything that you need because the build is just, it's a little different, okay? If you've never played a support character before, then this is the video for you. So to start off, we are gonna have a four-piece Gears of the Dreadlands set. If you guys don't know what this is, God, it's very popular. All we're gonna be doing is strafing around. This is gonna help us get a lot of movement speed as well as damage reduction because we don't wanna die, okay? We definitely don't wanna die. So the four-piece is gonna give us our damage reduction and the 8% um, increased move speed for each momentum. So we're gonna be able to get around the map, help pull, help protect our and our teammates and debuff everybody. So we're going four pieces of that in our shoulders, our gloves, our boots, and then um, that's it because we got Ring of Royal Grandor. We're pairing this with Captain Crimson's. All right, we want the resource or the life regen, the cooldown reduction, and as well as the resource cost reduction because we're gonna be doing a lot of different skills all at the same time. This also gives us some damage um, uh, damage increase, but we don't really care about that. Okay, so we got two there. We're gonna have those in the pants and the belt. Next, we have Aquila. While above 92% primary resource, we need damage reduction, giving us 50%. Very, very good to help this build stay alive because we, if you guys notice, the only the other defense that we have is Raps of Clarity. That's it. Now, as a support build, because we're in groups and we're not doing anything solo, we don't have a follower. So that means as the ZDH, you're going to have to um, carry and use the flavor of time. That way the pylon effects last twice as long. And Nemesis Bracers, so that way you are the one that always hits the pylons to spawn the champion so you can get through the rift even faster, okay? Now on top of that, we're doing Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac because all we're doing is hitting, so it's gonna be able to reset all of our skills, which is very important to keep the buffs and debuffs up. Okay, so Obsidian Ring is key here. Next, we have Oculus Ring. What's a support build without Oculus Ring? This drops down the little Oculus Ring that gives a crap ton of damage increase by 79% while you're standing in it, which is huge. This is good for all of our teammates. Um, we have that. Now, the next two items are key to this build in our offhand. We have the Bomb Zadir Rucksack. This allows us to have two more sentries, so we get five. The cluster aerial damage is irrelevant. We don't care about that, but we having five sentries is very good because... It's going to give us a huge shield that is going to protect our teammates. Next, of course, Yang's Recurve. The build, this bow is just amazing. It's arguably one of the best bows for the Demon Hunter. We don't care about the um, additional damage from multi-shot, but attacking faster, which applies a debuff when we're using multi-shot, is very crucial. And on top of that, the resource cost reduction is amazing. So this item is the last one that you need. Now, going into the cube, guys, we got Odyssey's End here. This is gonna give us uh, an entangling shot snare, which gonna, is gonna show a lot of change, which just helps slow the enemies down for our DPSs, guys, so that way they're not being attacked, so they can just apply as much damage as possible. As we said before, we have Wraths of Clarity in here for more damage reduction, and then Ring of Royal Grandor to bring both of the sets together, okay, guys? Oh, the last item that I forgot to mention is Leoric's Crown and the Helm. This just increases our effect of the gem, which is gonna reduce our resource cost by almost 25%, which is huge down into our skills and passives. So we have Chain Gang, Chain Gang. We got Entangling Shot Chain Gang, which just, again, slows movement down of all of the enemies. Hit, that goes with our um, strafe with um, the God Set. So this is just gonna help pull enemies, keep them slow, keep them off our DPS characters. 
Then, of course, Strafe Drifting Shadow for us to just be able to get around and kind of help pull the more enemies that we hit. We're going to be able to pull all those enemies in and then chain gang them, which is just going to help. Now, this is probably one of my favorite skills in the ZDH build is Sentry Guardian Turret. Okay, the damage on it is just, you know, it's again, we're not doing any damage, but it creates a shield which reduces damage taken by allies by 25%. Okay, this is huge. You're going to see it's a big bubble. Our teammates are going to stand in it. We're going to drop them on, on them, and then they get a huge damage reduction. Next, we have multi-shot wind chill. Enemies hit are chilled and have 8% increased damage uh, or 8% increased chance to be critically hit for three seconds. This helps all of our DPS guys so they get the maximum chance to be able to crit. Then we have Mark for Death, Valley of Death. Now, I do want to mention something here. Valley of Death is a little bit more of an advanced rune when it comes to playing zdh's because you're marking an area on the ground which enemies take additional damage now the other one that you want to use if you're not going to use valley of death is contagion because when an enemy is killed the mark uh the the, the marked for death spreads to 300 enemies within 30 yards which they're always going to be grouped up and then it can it can you know the chain repeatedly so it can just go to multiple enemies as they continue to die but this is just better because we get to choose where the marked goes and this works especially on elite packs. When we pull them in, we hit a pylon. This is just really good for just designated, hey, all of our focus is here, and we're going to drop the rune right on top of that, okay? Next, we have um, uh, Companion, Wolf Companion. This just is going to give us 10% or 15% increased damage for 10 seconds. This applies to everybody, which is a huge buff for our teammates. Into our passives, we're going to go Leech. Leech is very good here to help you stay alive as a ZDH. You got very minimal damage reduction in that sense, but we want to be able to stay alive just in case if we get cooked in any way. Now, if you really want to swap this out, there's a few options that I will give you. You have Hot Pursuit for more movement speed, or you can do Thrill of the Hunt just to slow enemies even more. But with Chain Gang, I think you're pretty good there. Then we have Custom Engineering. It increases the duration of our Mark for Death and our Sentries by 100%, which is huge, and it increases the number of sentries, the charge, from two to, th to three. So because we get five, we can place down, now we can have three just dot, 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 drop them all down and we're good to go. And then for our last passive, we have awareness, because if you do die, we don't wanna be behind, we have to apply these buffs and debuffs, so we need to make sure that we stay alive. The legendary gems that we have with this build, guys, are very important. It is the Gogok of Swiftness. This is just gonna give us a huge, the attack speed isn't the, the big thing from here, it's the dodge bonus to help keep us alive, as well as the cooldown reduction to help keep all of our stuff going, especially with a Wolf Companion, as well as our uh, sentries. Okay, so that, we got that. Then we have Ice Blink. Our cold skills now apply chill. Uh, and then we slow enemies even more. And then they have a temper, enemies that we chill have 10% increased chance to be critically hit. Um, which is going to come from our uh, chill abilities, especially um, with um, multi-shot wind chill. Um, we're just spamming that, and that'll help give even more um, increased critical hit uh, chance. And then we have Gem of Infectious to uh, Toxin. As we are strafing through and just being basically on top of enemies, we're poisoning everybody for a lot of damage over time, which is huge. And then all enemies take even more damage from all sources, or they take 10% increased damage. Uh, the enemies that are poison and then from all source sources and then they deal even less damage so those are the gems that we have for the build so that is the build guys it is the zdh remember zero damage we're applying all the buffs and debuffs to all of our teammates and monsters so that is the build we're gonna hop in i'm gonna get my crew in here we're gonna do a 150 so i can showcase it to you guys and um you can just see how to play playing a support character and pushing greater rifts is just really really fun um, it's a lot more fun than you would think because you're doing so many things. Now, before we hop into this, because I got to invite them in, um, let's grab one demon keys. So the way that this build works is pretty simple. You're gonna be, you're gonna pop your chain gang, you're gonna build up your momentum stacks, and then you're gonna strafe around, and you're gonna keep hitting your chain gain every five seconds, right, to keep your stacks up so you can move. This is gonna help you stay alive. It's gonna help keep uh, Aquila up at all times. Now. You want to keep spamming Wolf Companion every time it's on cooldown. Okay, we want to keep the 15% the increased damage for everybody, all of our teammates, at all times. So you're always going to spam this. The next thing is, is you want to drop your turrets. You see these bubbles? You stand in them, and it grants the 25% damage reduction for your teammates. This includes you. 
So you want to pop these on your DPS characters wherever they're standing. And for your Z Barb, you want to um, drop that on the middle of the mob that he's pulling. So that way he gets the damage reduction, okay? You got five of these, this just really helps. It makes our entire team super tanky. Then with multi-shot, as you are strafing through, you wanna spam multi-shot as you're strafing through. So you strafe through, stop for a second, spam, strafe through, stop for a second, spam. Because remember the wind chill is gonna give that 8% increased chance to be critically hit for three seconds. So you just, you just strafe through an enemy, stop, spam multi-shot, hit everybody gives that that percent chance and then rinse and repeat the last thing is marked for death this is a little bit harder like i said but as you're moving through you have your marked for death square here if you guys can see that and you basically just want to drop this on the mob where the barb is or the elites okay you want to you want to drop that on there and this can be spammed now it does only last 15 seconds but remember our custom engineering increases the duration so it lasts 30 seconds, okay? All right, so okay guys, we're gonna go in and we are going to do a 150. Let's crank this out so we, we can showcase how strong the build actually is. So let's do this, man. All right, we got a really good map this time. Let's go, it's about time we got good maps. All right, so the build works pretty easy, guys. All you're gonna do is build up your momentum sacks you're gonna spam that, that companion. Again, you're gonna drop the mark death on them. Make sure to drop your shields down on your DPS guys, as well as your um, your barbarian who's up there nice, close and personal. And then you're just gonna spam windchill as we continue to move through everything. And that is it, man. The build is like, once you start to get it all down, it's pretty solid to play. I really find that it's it's just like super rewarding when you're doing like multiple things that just like buff and debuff everybody. It's just so cool. Um, as I say, we're killing this guy, right? Oh no, no, Jug, we're passing him, right? We just pass on the Jug. Pull all these guys in. Go ahead and mark death them. Try to pull this guy. Yeah, pull this guy down. Nice. Trying to make sure everybody's hit, spam all that, make sure to drop your mark to death. And you're just kind of moving through. And you just let your DPS characters just kind of do everything, just kill everybody. And because there's so much buff and debuff happening, like in reality, they have like a, a huge damage reduction. It's almost a 50% damage reduction from you, which is just huge. We're gonna leave the jug, we don't care. We're gonna grab power which is huge. That jug will get pulled and we'll grab the jug from that. Fantastic. Come here, jug. Pull him in. But we're gonna keep moving. The jug is not coming fast enough. That's okay. Let's go. Just a lot of trash, a lot, a lot of trash. Let's go. Okay, this isn't this isn't like the worst possible thing that we could get, but that's okay. It's also like not, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. Keep everything procked up. Make sure to drop our shields here. Get it going. Make sure to keep your momentum stacks up. Keep all those shields going. The build is super, super rewarding, guys. Like for me, nothing against the D8 or the DPS characters or players, because I love DPSing too, but I feel like it's just, you feel more crucial to, to like how your team succeeds. For me, that's how I feel anyway. Protect everybody, hit everybody, everything with chill for maximum crit chance. And you just see enemies just die. It is fantastic. Boom. Now we're moving. Be nice if we got to the end of this map. That'd be cool. All right. 
It's alright, more elites will take them. Right at the end. Perfect. Yo, Tyler with the sub to the channel. Appreciate it, man. Okay, into the Halls of Agony. I like that. Hey, everyone, I'm late. Novus here. We got elites. Nice. Everything would chill. Pop all our stuff. Just everything gets melted. Absolutely. Go down. We'll grab channeling. Remember, make sure as the ZDH guys, you're the one with the Nemesis Bracer. So you have to be the one to hit the pylon. Okay? It has to be you. Otherwise, we don't get the elites, which is bad. Which is very, very bad. Let's go. Let's go. Let's swap it up, too. Let's get pumping. Oh, perfect. I could probably do a little bit better job scouting ahead. But that's okay. We're actually rocking this in the face. Yeah, we're like absolutely crushing this. He can just get wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. Let's go. See, as in like even as support, you feel like you're doing so much for the team. That's one of the reasons why I love playing it. Like every team needs support characters. Every team. Boom. That was awesome. That was a really good run. Really good run with the team. Let's level this up. Boom. Come on. 145. Give me these 60 percenters. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. So yeah, the build is very, very strong, guys, for a support character. Obviously, the best one in the game. Look at that. 5 minutes, 34 seconds. Absolutely crushed the GR150. Super, super strong with all the buffs and debuffs. This build is absolutely amazing. So if you are interested in playing a ZDH, a support character, definitely, definitely do this one. If not, do a Z-Barb. They're both good. We'll have a video for that coming soon. But... If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. And if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. We're almost to 10,000 subs on the channel. We're going to get there before Diablo 4 release launch day June 1st. So please help me get to 10K. And as always, stay gaming. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.